Hey y'all, what's up? I'm going to be doing more movie reviews. Batman Cape Crusader just came out. I finished the first two episodes, and let me tell you what I think about them. I think they're great, but I can still recognize the same art style from Batman the Animated Series, but I had a lot of fun watching. I'm not a paid DC show. I don't mind the female penguin. I like this take on Batman, but it's weird how they're just rushing all the episodes and stuff. It gets really weird. <laughs> like, it's like, cool, you guys are pumping out episodes. The first nine episodes are already out already. And I'm so behind here. Yes, I'm going to be watching every single episode until the show is done. But still, DC, take your time on releasing a new Batman show. I really like the first season. And I wouldn't be surprised. We're already getting a second season before the show was even announced. That's kind of wild to me, DC. Oh god, that's wild. And I don't think I don't think Marvel Marvel has any good shows right now, I'm being real. But I'm being honest, I'm really digging the Crisis on Trilogy. And I'm doing, of course, if I can see that'd be fantastic, y'all. I gotta I'll be in my room real quick, y'all. Because let me sit down to DC Comics. I don't think Marvel is good no more. No, I'm joking, of course. I loved um, Quick Thoughts real quick. I know this is a review about Batman Cape Crusader. I freaking love Batman Cape Crusader so far. I'm going to be covering episodes 3 and 4, 5 and 6. <laughs> and uh, also episode 9, 8, you know, 7, all the episodes. And uh, yeah, guys, I did watch Echo. I didn't like Echo. I saw Deadpool 3. I really love Deadpool 3, and I think it's one of the best comic book films to come out, but it's probably going to be the only good Marvel movie for a while. <laughs> and I did see the special look on Disney+, Plus, which was a clip show, but I noticed how they edited Gina Carano out. <laughs> That's literally, they edited Gina Carano out of Deadpool 1, because she's in, she's in Deadpool 1, but they like clearly edited her out because Disney doesn't like her. That's kind of true, alright. Uh. Batman Cape Crusader, what could I say about it? It's made by the same people that made Batman the Animated Series. And I think that's awesome to give them another opportunity, DC, to make another Batman show. Unfortunately, obviously, Kevin Conroy is not going to be a part of this because he passed away. But um, what I like, I like the animation. There was a female penguin in the show, but I don't want to go into spoilers because the show barely came out. But I really think that DC, with a, you know... Batman real quick. They need to take their time releasing a Batman show. And I barely saw like a movie as well. Like, so Batman Cape Crusader. I watched like the first episode and I really liked it. Yes, they have a female penguin in the show and the Batman in this show is really great as well. It's voice acted by a new person. It's made by Matt Reeves and the team that made the Batman. Now, what I think about the Batman, I didn't like the Batman personally. I thought there were some cool scenes, but there was a lot of talking in that movie. And usually if you have a Batman film, they balance out the talking with fighting. That movie was so long. It was three hours and just super long. I'm waiting for the sequel that's coming out in 2025. But I did not like the first the Batman movie, and I hope the second one's a little better than the first one. Now, I'm a guy who watches almost everything Marvel, everything DC. DC animated movies, though, the Crisis Trilogy, I think they were a great trilogy. I liked all three of them. I liked the first one, the second one was good, but I love the third one finally giving a tribute to freaking... Giving a proper, respectful tribute to Kevin Conroy. That was awesome. And really shows that DC did care at one point. Do I think The Batman is a great show? Yes. I think people should watch it, recommend it, continue binge-watching the entire show. I've barely... I've started watching Kite Man, and I think Kite Man's pretty great, too. I'm definitely looking forward to The Harley Quinn which is going to be, you know, Harley Quinn Season 5. Uh, the Creature Commandos may be good. I'm watching the Isekai, and uh, Episode 8 dropped. And I couldn't watch Episode 8, y'all, because I was literally on a, on a trip, on a church event. So, that was long. Really fun, though. So, DC time. 
I think DC's been really doing well with certain shows. Batman Cape Crusader. Was I right about this show? Yes, I was. And I was right in a way where people can't even explain it. Here's why. I knew it was going to be a hit with fans, and it really blew up in the haters' fate. It really did. It did blow up in their faces. And also, too, the guy who hated the show is doing honest reviews, which is just him to state another opinion that doesn't make sense. And everybody agreed with me. I did the suck it like DX. Everybody agreed with me that this show could be done well. And I said, I don't mind if there's a gender bent version of a character. As long as it's written well and it's done well, I'm okay with that. But I don't like when they have gender bent versions of characters that are not written well. But when they have gender bent versions of characters that are written well, I'm okay with a gender bent version of a character. Uh, like DC, like Marvel, for example, they have a female Deadpool that's written well, and she was a welcome addition to Deadpool 3. <laughs> I feel so bad for people who haven't seen that movie, and people are already spoiling the movie. That's so crappy, bro. I've already seen the movie, but the movie's great. For any Marvel fans, I think Marvel ain't good, watch Deadpool 3. But also, too, I'm not a fake Marvel fan. I'm not a fake DC fan either. I have a Batman and Spawn comic, which is one of my favorite comics, and I think it's great. Because Spawn's dope. Now, with me, I've been changing it up a little bit. I saw The Boys, y'all. I finished all four seasons. I can't wait for season five and six, which the creator of the show literally confirmed, hey, there's going to be a season six. Which means in season five, they're not going to kill off Butcher. They're not going to kill off Homelander, even. I guarantee you they're not. And I know they're getting a boy spinoff. And I'm not like Doom Blazer who's like, they're turning into the thing that they mock. And it's like, no, they're not. They have not released many spinoff shows or many TV shows of the boys. Besides like Gen V, the animated spinoff, Gen V season two, and then the new um, spinoff they just announced with Soldier Boy, which is a prequel. That's not a lot of shows, Doom Blazer. That's not a lot. By a long shot? No, it's not a lot. And DC, look at Marvel, man. Marvel releases so many shows yearly. Disney Plus shows are hit or miss. Some Star Wars shows are, you know, pretty... We're not bad. But others are just ass. You know? I watched the Clone Wars 2008 movie. Okay? That's the last good Star Wars thing I can admit was great. I I frankly enjoyed that over... I haven't even seen Disney's Acolyte. (laughs) And frankly, not a lot of other people... The Acolyte, I'm not going to watch anytime soon. Hell no, the Acolyte just seems just that bad. I'm not interested. I'm definitely going to watch Suicide Squad, you know, Isekai. I've been binge watching that. I need to catch up and watch episode 8, y'all, of that because it came out August 1st. And I've barely caught up with Kite Man watching episode, like, 4. And um, Batman, Cape Crusader, I just finished the first two episodes of Batman, Cape Crusader. I'm planning to watch episode 3, 4, 5, and, you know, 6, 7, and 8, and then also 9, just to be fully watching the TV show, because I'm not a poser when it comes to DC movies and shows. I read the comics as well. Frick you, King Lion, okay? I love DC, and I love Marvel. I love anything superhero media as long as it's well-written, okay? I'm not a not a poser. Because if I was a poser, I'd be only watching the movies, the live-action movies that DC comes out with. I don't know why I'm getting hostile. Yeah, I'll calm down. <laughs> no, for real, though. But if I was a poser, I would be only watching the live-action DC movies when there's so many other better DC movies. I'm definitely looking forward to a lot of the shows that are coming out this year. Because we were supposed to get that Gotham TV, or, you know, Arkham Asylum TV show. It was canceled, unfortunately. Who knows if it's ever going to see the light of day. It's probably the same situation that's going on with a lot of shows or a lot of movies where it's like, well, these movies are already filmed and ready to release, but they get shelved like everything. Like the freaking Wonder Twins movie, I think was filmed fully. I definitely think the Batgirl movie was filmed fully before they canceled it, but literally it was filmed, but it's just shelved in a DC vault. DC. Like, what are you doing filming movies and then canceling them? Marvel does that too. Like, there was, I think there was one thing that was properly filmed, finished filming, 
And then they, 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 then they shelved it. Like, DC did that with a few things. And it's like, what the frick, DC? <laughs> Why did you shelve <laughs> a Batgirl movie that actually kind of looked decent? And shout out to Warp Zone predicting the trailer would get leaked. That's crazy to me. They literally, yeah, the trailer got leaked and then people were like, this doesn't look that bad. Why the frick did they shelve it? <laughs> and, the, and the boys made fun of that. Like, it's a tax write-off for them. The boys. Will do everything in their power. But the fact that I had to watch a couple MCU shows. Like Marvel Slingshot. Which is an okay spinoff of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. The, the Runaways, man. I had to watch three seasons. And then the news show that had two seasons. I had to watch both. Thank you, YouTube, for that. It's very weird. Um... Peter's to-do list is just a it's, a it's just a clip show, so it's pointless. And the worst part about that was after watching that, I was like, this is a waste of time. I didn't watch anything else from the MCU. After finishing all three seasons of Runaways, I finished both seasons of Cloak and Dagger, which, by the way, sucked. <laughs> like, actually, I kind of like that show. But, Marvel, you pump out too many movies and shows you got to get me to watch. Deadpool 3, I really liked. Wasn't the worst Deadpool film. No. But don't go to the movie thinking you're going to enjoy the plot. I love... Okay, personally, I love the MCU. But I think it's falling off lately. And I'm not the only one noticing that because the whole internet's doing that. But the only good movie that they're going to come out with for a while is Deadpool 3. After Deadpool 3... All the movies are just going to be mid-garbage, woke propaganda, terrible. And that's when I hope that's not true. I hope Captain America 4 is going to do really well. I hope the Thunderbolts does well. But, like, I don't know, okay? The Agatha Harkness show caught my attention. I saw the trailer. It looked decent. I know I'm just kind of rambling here and saying whatever. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the Agatha Harkness show. Will I sit through, question people will be asking me, Dion, will you sit through um, Captain America 4 when that comes out? Maybe, Superman Legacy as well, but the first thing we're getting in the new DC Universe is Creature Commandos. Now DC is coming out with a lot of shows this year, you notice that? We got nine episodes of Batman Cape Crusader already out, I finished like the first two episodes, and I haven't even... Finished. I started episode three, four, five, and six. Episode nine, ten, or nine even. Ten is about to come out. So it's like Batman, Great Crusader, Dark Dion. I gotta freaking cut you up right now. And that sucks for me. That does suck because it's like DC. You're coming out with so many shows at once. Like what the frick? I know all of these are Elseworld stories and not connected to the new DC universe. We got Creature Commando. I saw the Dead Boy Detectives earlier in the year. When that came out, I saw the, the two Crisis films earlier in the year, and then I saw part three, which I'm like, this is great, and I wish DC would pump out more, you know, good movies like this. The Tomorrowverse was kind of weird with uh, movies and stuff. Some of them were good, some of them were okay, but not a lot of them were great. Like, the Green Lantern one, in my opinion, was kind of eh. <laughs> like, we didn't even get to see a proper Hal Jordan in this movie, man. He's a villain, like, what the heck? We, we get to see... And the, and the weird part is the yellow Sinestro Core logo looked so weird in this universe. Like, why can't we have a yellow Core Sinestro logo? Why does it look so off-brand, DC? <laughs> and that was dumb. And then, like, okay, DC. I love, don't get me wrong, I enjoy Batman Cape Crusader. And I need to watch more episodes. But the fact that DC is already rushing this show. Like, My Adventures of Superman Season 2 is great. Solid seasons. And they were taking their time releasing one episode after another. Batman Cape Crusader, they did not give a crap. They spammed episodes religiously. You know how wild that is? To think that they spammed episodes religiously. Like, they just released it, like, full blank, not even taking their time releasing each episode individually. They're already on nine, bro. Ten is about to come out, meaning I have to catch up with that. I also have to catch up with Kite Man, House of Dragon, and freaking the Suicide Squad Isekai. 
I think the last episode I saw for the Isekai was maybe episode 7. I'm going to have to watch episode 8, then 9, then 10. But I doubt that's going to get a second season because that's been negatively, negatively received for some reason. Like, it's not doing well. And uh, I don't know if it's going to get a second season. I really hope the guy who's making the show could make his Flash anime. But DC does a lot of weird stuff sometimes. Like, they, they like, cancel movies or... Marvel too. Marvel, I haven't seen Marvel show, uh, film a show and then cancel it. I haven't seen Marvel done that yet. But knowing how DC did that with like two films already and one show maybe. Yeah, the Arkham show was canceled um, before even, it was probably filmed. Probably they finished filming too and DC was like, not gonna happen, Dion. Like pretty much. Um, I know we're getting the Penguin TV show. Which a lot of shows are either going to Max or Prime. DC, what the hell are you doing? You made a platform for your DC content that you're just pushing other DC shows that should be on Max. On freaking Prime Video? Amazon? Amazon. Like... Then don't do them wrong. I don't hate the Amazon. I think I don't think Amazon Prime. I think they do solid superhero shows, and I say only superhero shows because they don't know how to do fantasy right. <laughs> but yes, their superhero shows are goaded. Invincible, The Boys, their animated spinoff of The Boys, Gen V, and now we're getting next year Gen V season two, The Boys season five. I think. Right after Gen V season two, and then after Gen V season two, and the boy, you know, the boys season five, we're getting the other spinoff, which is a prequel focusing on Soldier Boy and the other character that was from the boys. I hope that show is going to be goaded, and when it is, then the boy season six, because people think they're going to kill off Butcher, they're going to kill off Homeland, like they're not going to kill off those characters. They're not going to kill off Homelander. They're not going to kill off. Butcher, and season five is not the final season. It's going to get a sixth season. The creator himself of the show pretty much announced a sixth season and also maybe a movie for the boys. And that movie is probably going to do well because, one, imagine how funny would it be if the boys' movie adapts the comic and it's just basically the comic movie? Doom Blazer, wee! That's Doom Blazer. Look, he's gonna be crying, cause like Marvel hasn't pumped out anything good besides Deadpool three, and after that, it's like Marvel. What are you gonna do after that? You release one good movie once in a while, but we're like, hey, Marvel's back, and then watch they release more mediocrity, garbage, and then people say, yep, the MCU's dead. Like the MCU's been dead. Like it, it only releases one good movie in a year, and then Marvel fumbles. I hope that isn't the case. I hope Marvel can keep a good momentum doing. But I really doubt Marvel will. Besides that, though, I would love to see, like, some, some like, shows. Like, DC loves, like, it's weird because, like, Sandman should have been on Max. It was on Netflix, bro. What the frick is WB doing? Why is there DC shows on Amazon Prime, Netflix, For some freaking reason. Why are they going to platforms that is not HBO Max? Like the Batman Christmas movie that Amazon released. Why was that on Amazon and not freaking Max? Where it's supposed to be a platform for DC. Anyway, y'all. Don't get me wrong. That Batman animated film was really good. Nobody talked about it though. Unfortunately, I liked it. I liked it. It was actually very wholesome, and I really enjoyed it. I heard that's getting a Batman show as well. We're getting freaking the Penguin, and we're getting Batman Game Crusader, but the, the Penguin show is going to be a part of the The Batman universe. So it's weird, because like, we were supposed to get an Arkham Asylum show that was either going to be a part of the The Batman universe or the new DCU universe. It got canceled. 
So it's like, it's really confusing with James Gunn, what he's doing for DC. Huh? I still haven't your I'm going to! Hey, y'all. But, like, basically, what I complain about James Gunn is, like, what is he doing, y'all, with the DC Universe? I hope he knows what he's doing for the DC Universe, but Marvel, dude, the desperation I've seen from Marvel <laughs> is the most wildest thing. I have ever seen y'all. I and I'm gonna turn off the video here, y'all. But I know it's gonna be me ranting. It's gonna be a review slash rant. Peace, guys. See you next time.